very good morning to all children welcome back to class 4 english grammar worksheet 5 listening listen to the retirement speech of the former indian cricketer rahul dravid after listening choose the correct answers i will now read the retirement speech of the former indian cricketer rahul dravid it has been 3 weeks since i announced my retirement from international cricket after playing for india for 16 years these years have been like a dream come true for me i grew up like any other indian child with a love for cricket and a desire to play for the country playing for india let me travel across the world play in cities and countries that i had only heard of and against some of the greatest of players cricket has given me a lifetime of experiences each of my coaches has helped me become a better cricketer and a better person i would like to thank all my senior cricketers all my heroes for inspiring me to work hard i would like to thank all my teammates for the memories the friendships none of this would have been possible without you I may not be playing for India anymore but to the present Indian team what I would like to say is that I hope Indian cricket will always be a strong force and I will take great pleasure in watching you achieve great things thank you very much so this was a retirement speech now let us see Rahul Dravid loved playing cricket for India because he loved cricket and had dreamed of playing for india since his childhood or it made him very famous no because since from his childhood he wanted he had dreamt the most memorable experience is in dravid's career about matches the matches that the team india won and the awards he received no playing in different countries and cities and against some of the best cricketers in the world Dravid thanks his teammates because their friendship and support helped him to achieve his dreams. Yes. Dravid is very hopeful that the present Indian cricket team will continue to be strong team and achieve greatness. Yes. Next it is grammar and words. Must, must not, should and should not are modal auxiliaries. Modal auxiliaries are always followed by the main verbs. We must reach on time. Form verb phrases with the main verbs. They should bring their books. Must, mustn't, must not is used to show something has to be done and there is no other way. Anil must work hard. Nila must not forget to bring her bag. Should, ah, uh, shouldn't is used. to show something is a duty we should get ready by 2 pm use must must not or should should not to write a sentence in reply to the first one use the words in the brackets the school un function begins in half an hour we must not be late you have an exam tomorrow you should not waste any more time you must sit down to study now i have invited anita for lunch you should ask her what she likes to eat the market closes in half an hour we should choose our clothes quickly we are we must check the locks on all the doors carefully you must be more careful use the correct words from the box to complete these sentences you can use the highlighted words to help you now here a box is given children you have got to complete the sentences looking into the words from the box and then you have to complete the sentences you have to see to the highlighted word and then you have to write the correct word from the bracket and then you have to fill the blank here they were bitterly dashed when they missed the bus they were unhappy um, now the word which is 
used in spite of unhappy is disappointed. Like that in the second one, annoyed. In spite of annoyed, we use angry. Now here she fought her fear. Fear is afraid. Next is worried, is nervous. Happy, delighted. So here read these notes. Then listen to the description carefully and complete them. So there is a description what I should read children. But I have filled the blanks for you. Before that I will read the dictation. Book cricket is a very simple indoor game. All you need for it are two players. A thick book and a paper to keep score. First the two players decide how many batsmen will be there on each team. Then they toss a coin to decide which team gets to bat first. The one who wins the toss will take the book and open it at any random page and look at the even page number. The last digit of the page number will decide the score. So if you open the book to page 166, you will score 6 runs. But if the last digit of the page number is 8, you score a single run. If the last digit is 0, then the batsman is out. The player will continue to bat until all the batsmen on his team are out. The other player now starts playing. Whichever player has more runs by the end of the game is the winner. So it is a book cricket. How to play a simple book cricket sitting inside the classroom is explained to you there children. Number of players needed in brook cricket. It is how many players? Two players. Rule to decide who bats first. It's tossing a coin. The book is important because the page number decides the scores. One special page number and a score associated with it. Page 8 will, if you open page number 8, you will get only one run. Who wins? The player who secures more number of runs at the end of the game will be the winner of the match. Writing. Look at this flow chart. Follow the arrows and the clues and write a paragraph on how a letter or package is delivered by courier. Using the words in the box, you may use the words more than once. Hand over letter or package collection center. Packed, sorted according to the place where the delivery has to be made. Special courier agents take to railway station, bus station or airport. Delivery letter or package. Courier, courier agents collect, sort, transported to the place where the delivery has to be made. First, then, soon, after that, finally. These words can be used when you write a paragraph. First, you hand over letters or packages at the collection center that is nearest to you. Then, they are packed and sorted according to the place where they are to be delivered. The special courier agents arrive soon to take them to the railway station, bus station or the airport. Then they are transported to the places where the deliveries are to be made. After that, the courier agents collect the packets and sort them again, depending on the areas where they are to be delivered. Finally, the letters or packages are delivered to the specific address to which it was sent. Life skills. In his speech, Rahul Dravid mentions that his coaches and teammates supported and encouraged him to help him continue chasing his dreams. Imagine that your team has lost a match. One of your teammates is very upset and wants to stop playing altogether. What will you do? How will you advise her or him. Talk to him or her and encourage them to practice the game so that they play even better. Tell him or her to take a short break and then return to the game. What we will do? We will talk to him or her and encourage to practice the game so that they play even better. Hope all have understood how to do the worksheet. Right children? Please do your worksheet. 
neatly. Thank you.